Charlie Kasov, and this is how to solve vertical shift in a sine function. Now, to solve vertical shift in a sine function, all you have to do is look for the amplitude change on the graph. So, for example, in quadrant one, if this is one sine function, and we'll say this here is one, and we have another sine function, it's coming like this, and this is two, then we could say that this first line might be the y equals sine x, and this one would be y equals two sine x. So whenever we have a shift in amplitude, that corresponds to the coefficient. For example, if we start, and this has an amplitude of one, and this one has an amplitude of two, we'll just double the coefficient in the sine function. So that's how you solve for vertical shift in sine functions. Thanks a lot.